Live from the 5 Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live. Uh, also today is the Spring Parade of Homes Tour. Yes, That's right. I do love this. this time of year. So coming up, Kristen's going to show us inside a really incredible mansion. Look at a this. A mansion. It's in Lake Elmo, I think, right? Oh, and what a beautiful day. I mean, that's today. They shot that video today of the house, and Kristen happens to be inside. And hey, next up, you can stay warm this weekend and tour beautiful new and remodeled homes in Minnesota. TCL reporter Kristen Hobrick, she's got the details. This one we're yay on. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Elizabeth and Ben. Okay, it may not look like spring outside, but inside, spring is in full effect as the Spring Parade of Home Tour is officially underway. And I am just reading here in the library doing some leisure studies. Look at that ladder over there. Hey, coming up, we are going to show you one of the dream homes located in Lake Elmo. Plus, we'll meet one of the builders. Uh, whether you're in the market for a new home or you just need some inspiration to remodel your own, the Spring Parade of Homes tour is underway right now. And TCL reporter Kristen Hobrick is live. She's showing us one of the homes on the tour. This one is in Lake Elmo. It looks so gorgeous, Kristen. We need all the details. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is so cozy in here. I want to move in. What a perfect day as the snow is falling lightly outside. But get this, there are 383 homes on the Spring Parade of Home Tour this year, and they're scattered all across the metro. So I can't wait to show you some of the fun features of this unique custom home. And here to help me do that, we have Danielle Yegi. Yeah. So you are co-owner of Style and Structure. Yeah. You guys are building award-winning homes, and it's just amazing to be in here. But I want to talk about the process. So it has to be so cool for you to work with these homeowners, the customers from start to finish blueprint to turn the key and they're in here. Yeah, that's really what we specialize in is taking them from the beginning all the way to the end, mm -hmm. starting to learn about their design ideas, give them some of our suggestions and really partner with them on the home to create what you're seeing now. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah. Let's draw everyone's attention up. Drew was just showing off the beams. Oh, yes. Tell me about the couple and what they had in mind when they wanted to build this home. This was such a fun client to work with. They were moving from one of the coasts over in Portland mm -hmm. and they love to go outdoors and hike. Yep. So the one outside. key thing they want to do is make sure to bring the outdoors inside. And look at this dining room. So I That's have to fun. comment first on the wallpaper. I know. I've never I seen something like that. Yes. This actually wallpaper was from Europe. So when we ordered it, it was a little pricey, and it was also <laughs> like we were waiting for it to get here and just like crossing our fingers that it, it would make it outside. <laughs> it would turn out beautiful, yeah. and it was. I mean, it looks like someone came in and hand painted in here. It really does. You have to get up close to know. Yes. And it perfectly complements the Wayne coating on yep. the bottom base there. Yep. Yep, so we have, a, it's funny, people always call it Wayne Scoting or Wayne Scotty, and it's a fun little debate in our industry, so. <laughs> Which one is it? I don't know. I say Wayne Scotting, but hey, okay. <laughs> I get yelled at sometimes for it. <laughs> sure. And then the light fixture, I mean, it's just like this rose gold, it's so delicate and accents perfectly in the room. Yes, yes. Again, bringing that outdoors, the little lily pad flowers in, and we love it. Okay, well, so. let's walk over into the kitchen. Yes, one and of my I'm favorites. I'm curious to know what is trending, and it seems to me that like we are getting away from the traditional all white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? Every one of our customers comes in and asks what is trending. Yeah. <laughs> and what we always tell them, you know, we, we want to pull in fun ideas that are going on in the market, but also what's trending with what they like. Sure. So some homeowners love the white. They love it to be fresh and, you know, bright. And some want a little bit more personality in it. So we're doing a lot of stained woods or even pops of color like this. Yes. So this is a very bold green. And it, that green, though, complements the dining room that we just saw. It does. Let's touch yes. on this. The backsplash mm -hmm. is brick that has the white over it. I've not seen this before. Yeah, so it's kind of playing off that whitewash feel. You'll see that in a lot of southern homes. Um, but but this is actually the brick from the exterior that we brought in as the backsplash. A nod. I know. I love that. But again, I think when we talk about having the designs from the exterior or the outside and bringing that in, yeah. you can play off colors, you can play off textures, and that's what we did in this home. How fun. And yeah. some of the floating shelves, I have to, before we go, talk about this. This is the dishwasher. This is the dishwasher. in perfectly with the yes. rest of the cabinets. Yes. And are you finding that is a, another point of popularity, too, to get yeah. away from the same? Yeah. Field? So I think that is a fun one thing that we can do on some of our appliances, we use the signature kitchen appliances on this. You can panel the dishwasher, we paneled the refrigerator, and that really helps us 
kind of cover up some of the appliance. You don't have stainless steel everywhere, and you can I highlight the cabinets. Like it. Yeah, just yes. such a cozy vibe. Yeah, and like the nods to the gold oh, yeah. accents throughout. Gold's too. really in, <gasps> and it's funny because we get a lot of people from like those '80s and '90s home. Like, I'll never do gold in my house again. <laughs> this way, yes, I'm doing that. Yes, so it's not that shiny brass anymore. Yeah. Well, Danielle, thank you so much <laughs> yes, for now. Yes, absolutely. Ben Elizabeth. As I like to do, I like to save the very best for last. Ooh. A little surprise, mm. like all the Florida stuff. So there is a feature in this home that I'm going to show you the next time you see me. But any guesses as to what that could be? Mm. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to be a fish cleaning station. Maybe that. Maybe there's going to be a sauna. Would there be a, a sauna in there, as the Finns <laughs> say? You know that would sell me on it. That's a good guess. Okay. That would be right up your alley. Yes. A sauna. I can't, I can't say. Okay. okay, all right, that's, that's, a, that's a deep around. tease. We're going to stick around. <laughs> we'll be here. We'll stay, Kristen. Potential buyers and home enthusiasts can get a look inside of more than 300 homes across the Twin Cities during the Spring Parade of Homes Tour. I always think it's so fun to check these out. So fun. You just, it's, a, it's a glimpse into other people's lives, which is always kind of fun, you know? So we're mm -hmm. checking back in now with TCL reporter Kristen Hobrick. All right, she, has, uh, she had a deep tease of this gorgeous Lake Elmo home. She was telling us we had to guess where she was going to mm -hmm. be, what she was going to show off. So Kristen and we're waiting. What are you going to show off? Oh, well, get ready to wait a little longer, my friends. <gasps> yes, I'm not going to say it just right off the bat. Kristen no, Hubbard. no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> okay, hey, so I want to bring in Danielle again. Now, a fun fact about Danielle, she's a former Girl Scout, and at one time, I found this out, I was doing my homework, <laughs> she held the record for selling the most Girl Scout cookies in the entire state of Minnesota. That I did. That I did. <laughs> What's your favorite kind? Oh, I have to go with the Samoas, but they renamed them all, so I'm not sure what it's called now. Gosh, but I know. They've got, like, more Samoas. ones now. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I hope you brought some, maybe. Uh, no, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> no, hey, um, I'm having a blast here. We're in the basement now of one of the dream homes on the tour, yeah. and it's free to check out these homes, but the dream homes do cost $5, and that goes, though, to a great cost. Tell me about that. It does. So the Parade of Homes is run by Housing First, and they support a lot of great causes. But the one for the Dream Home, it goes towards ending homelessness in Minnesota oh. and supporting veterans, and we yep. love it. Such an important cause. Absolutely. And Drew, sh Drew is showing off one of the bedrooms. Uh, tell me about how many bedrooms and bathrooms are in this house. So this is a Rambler-style home. We've got two bedrooms upstairs with an office. We've got three bedrooms in the basement, one being used as an office. Great. So, so for in both total, parents, five. Okay, great. And for both the mom and dad working from home, yes. they don't have to hear each other or see each yes. other. Yes. We have a lot of customers now who want in-home offices and sometimes even two. Okay. So we're doing a lot of that. Great. Well, I'm going to bring in Joe to the conversation. And so both Joe and Danielle are co-owners of Style and Structure, yes. building award-winning homes. So even though we're in the basement, it sure does not feel like a typical basement. Yeah, we really go out of our way to, you know, really... You know, give it the nine foot ceiling, uh, bigger windows as you can see, and just really so let the light come light. in. Yeah, that makes such a big difference. Yes, and you planned this out with the homeowner from the beginning. We did. Saying, yes. This is what I want, and have this kind of a layout. Tell me, we're seeing the outside of the home. What is the material that you use for that? Yeah, it's a combination of real brick and hardy stucco panel. Very durable, uh, beautiful, pre-finished. Oh, I love that. That is excellent. Okay, so guys, Ben Elizabeth, I'm going to bring you guys in. I had told you about a fun feature of this stunning home. Yep. And here it is. We're waiting. <laughs> I should have packed my swimsuit because oh there is a gosh. stunning indoor swimming pool right here. No my goodness, way. this is a good size. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's some floaties, too. I mean, this is calling my name. I know. But I want to point this out, Joe. When I inhale, I smell no chlorine. I do not know that there is a swimming wow. pool in this house. How'd you do that? <laughs> it took a lot of extra work, but, you know, what we did was we really, um, you know, took our time. We sealed this off from the rest of the house, gave it its own mechanical system. We have a, a massive air exchange system, which uh, just really circulates the air, brings the smell away from the house, the, hu the humidity, the moisture. Um, mm -hmm. So it's never going to mold. Um, yeah. That is genius. And this had to be a little difficult, though, because indoor pools in Minnesota, probably not as common as outdoor. It's not. And it, it's really a balance of... You know, how much do you heat the pool? We heat the floors to keep them dry. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of things involved. Another so. smart perk. Okay, well, yeah. Joe, thank you. I do see our good friend Danielle over here, and she is looking mighty comfy. I think we join her. <laughs> Maybe get a little game going in the pool. 
All right, Ben Elizabeth, I'll tell you what, I am awful comfy. Danielle's gonna get the Girl Scout cookies and we'll call it a day. <laughs> wow, I yeah. did not expect that, nope. Kristen. Did Thank not you guess so that much. at all. So cool, the Spring oh. Parade of Homes Tour what? is going on Thursdays uh, through Sundays until April 2nd. We've got more information on TwinCitiesLive.com.